Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. I literally paid them two guys to stay here all day while the caterpillar went in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out to fill in these ruts. That was their job. It's ridiculous. So your boy made the call today to caterpillar. I said, look, get me the 259. I need a track machine. I'm sick and tired of these stupid ruts. So my plan is to keep this thing. I'm gonna have two, two caterpillars for the entire summer, after I get done with my one million dollar job, after that million dollar job, I'm gonna sell the 262, keep the 259. Good plan? I think so. This is ready to roll, ready to rumble, ready to rumble. Good thing about this is there's no rebar, man. No rebar in this joint. This is dope. Crazy. Keep practicing, just like anything. I'm gonna get good at this thing. But more importantly, I'm gonna get my guys really good at this thing, and not me. I'd rather have people that are better at it than I am. I don't really care to be good at it. It's just fun. That's how I am with all the new equipment. I get it, I wanna play with it, play with it, play with it, put like 10 hours in, and then after the 10 hours, I'm like, Ugh. I'm over it. But yeah, pretty dope, man. The machine's real good. Yeah, it's made with bits of real panther. So you know it's good. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. It stings the nostrils in a good way. Yeah. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Truck number one. I've never run into this problem, dude, in Saratoga. It looks like decent dirt. This, this problem wasn't there in the back, but when we get here, literally when you walk on the soil, like you can feel it move. And I'm, I'm little, bro. I'm like 150. I'm a little guy. Like, it shouldn't be moving. You know, this is, this is good already, but like, look, look how loose this soil is. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you park a heavy car, right here the thing will sink man and i don't want to come back in four or five years or even worse six months and have to fix some stupid mistake i hop on the machine and i just dig this shit out everything that's loose got dug out and afterwards we're just gonna fill this thing in with base rock right we're gonna put that base rock in compact the hell out of it and then lay a thin layer of base rock on this whole thing, make sure it's level. And I got Geotex uh, fabric. We're gonna put down all up and down the driveway. Why am I doing this? This is an added expense. I ain't gonna pay for it. I'm just gonna tell the homeowner, dude, this needs to be done. Otherwise, we're gonna have some sinkage. And this was overlooked, you know, because we didn't know the condition of the soil. I mean, this is the right thing to do. This is what you're, as a business owner, are gonna have to do. Boom. So we got Geotex fabric all up in the sink area. We removed the dirt yesterday. You saw that. Moved some of this dirt. This over here and back there was really hard. Like rock hard. I'm saying like solid. So we didn't really need to remove that. But we filled this, dude, this has like 16 inches of base rock right there with the Geotex. So we're good on that. Yep, yeah, it's made with bits of real panther. 
So you know it's good. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. Stings the nostrils. In a good way. Yeah. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works. Every time. That doesn't make sense. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I was just Instagramming. Why don't you follow me on Instagram, dog? You get daily vlogs on my Instagram. Right here. Add me now. So you like jokes, right? Think it's kind of funny? You know what's real funny? The time lapse was going on, but guess who took out the SIM card? This dumb dumb. <laughs> I recorded the time lapse for the entire job, and for the very last part, the SIM card's missing. Duh. But we're done. You ready for this? Check it out. We're gonna walk from the side yard to the backyard. Keep walking. This is the grass area. This is what 3,000 square feet of lawn looks like. For you lawn people, this would be a good mow. We have all fruit trees all along the corner. Over here, there's gonna be a massive grapevine Stepping stones, of course. A massive tree. Look how big this tree is. It's a big boy. And then we got the pool deck. This is the dining room area. We got that special tile. All the pool equipment is here. A little retaining wall. Pavers in the back. Now we walk into the front. Now this is probably my favorite part. The front yard. A bunch of mulch, the driveway, and this is the front yard. Now I can't take credits for all the little ornaments because the homeowner did that, but they look good. See, all those little ornaments she did, the bicycle, that's all her. That is a lady's touch for sure. The little planters. The l That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. The steps. Like this deal. This is awesome. Noise. Palm tree. It will grow. But that's it, dog. End of the job.
Yeah! Finish that job. That job went good. 200 grand in sales. All right, for you people who are like, ooh, you didn't make 200,000 profit. Duh, of course I didn't. 200 grand profit? No way. The entire job was 200 grand. But we'll get to that in a minute. Take a sip, take a sip. You won. This was the biggest job that your boy has done. We did it, fellas. Now, on to a bigger one, an even better one. This one is gonna be massive. But first things first, man, I'm gonna tell you some learning lessons. Number one, when you get into this type of business, landscaping, paving, contracting, get good at a few things. I, I went over this on my live lecture yesterday i have a live lecture every single friday it's for an hour everybody gets in i go live i talk answer questions get good at a few things don't start a landscaping company and go build hot tubs go build pools go build decks go stain deck don't do everything get good at a few things like my company i just want to be good at paving planting fences eh, don't really like fences there's not that much volume, but I'll do them because we're there, right? But staining, I won't do. Pools, I won't do. Hot tubs, I won't do. Why? Because I don't know how to do them. And I don't, I want to focus. I don't want to go wide, so wide where I'm just taking on every job. I don't want that. So for this job, I teamed up with a very good pool contractor. His name is Luis. Great guy. He does pools only. I do paving. We teamed up, we're doing jobs together. Every time a pool needs to be done, I send the number, I send his number over to the customer. Every time paving needs to be handled, guess who gets the call? Your boy. You're gonna see us doing a lot of pool decks now because I teamed up with a good guy. You gotta team up with a good guy. You need a team. You can't win by yourself. Don't do everything yourself. You need a good team. Go out and get some good employees. Go out and get some good contractors that are friends become very good at a few things this is why you should be surrounded by winners people that are winning in life and that's what the goat gang is about no haters absolutely no haters everyone is very supportive willing to help and they just cool man it's okay to buy friends what do you think country clubs do country clubs pay 200 grand for a membership what do you think they do you buy friends, you buy wealthy people, you buy people that are affluent. But look, the Caterpillar giveaway is done. You, you might have guessed it. If you didn't guess what my favorite number is, guess again, dog. There's four people that won, four people. Now I'm gonna leave it up to you to message me. See this picture right here? Go like that picture, comment that picture, and screenshot you with your number, 22. 22 is the winning number right here. That is my lucky number. That has been always my lucky number. And when I saw this shirt, I'm like, dude, this shirt is dope. I need to buy this shirt. First person to message me gets a cup and a hat. The other three, y'all get hats. If there are more, message me. I'll take care of you. I got you. I'll send you something real special. Dude, if I have helped you in any way, any way with my YouTube videos, my programs, my live streams, anything, on this picture right here, follow me, like the picture, and comment how I've helped you. If I've helped you in any way, tell me. I'm gonna be giving away $200 cash. Two people will win 100 bucks cash, and if I like your stories, I'll give you some more cash. I'll send you some hats. I get so inspired, so motivated. If you love my videos, just tell me, dog. Tell me, it's all good. It's all good, and remember, Success rubs off when you hang out with successful people. When you surround yourself with success, all of a sudden, you'll be doing something and you'll be like, whoa, what happened? How did I do this? How did I become like this? How did I start thinking like this? Uh, it's because you hang out with successful people. You surround yourself with successful people. It's not a mystery. You hang out with winners, you surround yourself with winners, Guess what you're gonna start doing? You're like, you're like a rocket ship to Mars, Elon Musk style. <laughs> that is the end of it, man. I'll see you on the next video. Remember, if you wanna see daily vlogs, 
That's on my Instagram. That's on my Snapchat. Add me. Peace. Yep. It's made with bits of real panther. So you know it's good. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. Stings the nostrils. In a good way. Yep. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works. Every time.